Hello, Jeff. Creepy and possibly swearing rabbits. Thank you. That was just the kickstart I needed. So, welcome to our 2014 season. Uh, this is what I look like now, apparently. Changes, they happen. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk about... Um, today I wanted to... I'm sorry, what are you drinking? Huh? Hmm? What are you drinking? Uh, Virgin Bloody Mary? Ugh. Can, can we not call it that? I'm not big on the whole equating alcohol with normality and virginity with subnormality. Okay. And anemic Mary? I think that's ableist. And also gross. Fine. I'm drinking a mixture of tomato juice, lemon juice, water, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and other spices with a stalk of celery stuck in it. Now shut up and do your thing. Okay. So, let's talk about the word freedom, shall we? Because it has some major affective weight to it. But specifically, I want to talk about the idea of freedom in regard to vaccinations. Because no, it's not a question of freedom and individual choice, as, I don't know, some people on the internet seem to think. And this is for two critically important reasons, which both kind of boil down to the fact that you are not a person. You are not a person in regard to communicable diseases. You are a vector. The choice not to vaccinate isn't like the choice not to wear a particular kind of shoes or not to eat meat. It's more akin to the choice to cough in other people's faces on purpose. You see, vaccines don't eliminate the potential to get sick. They just reduce it. And choosing not to vaccinate means not only are you more likely to get sick, but you also pose a risk to all the people who did get vaccinated, especially those with weakened or even yet underdeveloped immune systems. Next, children aren't people. That always sounds really bad when I say it out loud. I mean like legally or, or philosophically or, or something. They don't have an agency. So you choosing not to vaccinate your children isn't freedom precisely. Not for them. I mean, they don't have a say. I'm not saying that they should have one, as they don't have, you know, reading or, or critical thinking or, uh, or research skills. Just pointing out that what some people frame as freedom is potentially indistinguishable from tyranny from a different perspective, specifically the perspective of the adult that that child grows up to be. It's just messed up. I mean, parents just rule over their children. They get to make these decisions that affect not just the health of the individual child, but also the health of the community around that child and the future of that person's entire life. I don't have a fix for this, let me be clear. I mean, it's not like you could make every child a ward of the state. That has its own really creepy problems with it. I'm just pointing out, you know, it's, it's complicated. It's not just freedom and f you. And another one of the problems behind this is that people just, people want certainties. They rely on them. I mean, they're, they're easy to keep in your head, but, I mean, other than entropy and a few other things, as far as we know, nothing is certain. The reason I bring this up is specifically because of how some people obsess over the individual ingredients that go into a particular vaccine. Like, they'll point at one particular thing and say, this is poison! This, this thing has poison in it! Well, yeah, maybe if you ate a fistful of that particular ingredient, it would be poison. But context matters in biology, in social situations, in everything in the universe. The specific situation that something exists in is not something to just be dismissed because it makes your argument better. In fact, like, the opposite of that. The situation matters. Context. The truth is, people don't always know what's best for their children, or even themselves. And this is especially true in regard to the just ridiculously complicated biological forces and mechanisms that are going on inside of us all the time. But many, many people really don't want to confront how little they actually know about things, about really vital things. But I mean, that's, that's why doctor school takes so damn long, because, yeah, they're learning all that stuff. So, you know, just listen to your doctor. If there's a valid medical reason not to vaccinate, then yeah, don't. But most of the time, you should probably with the... Yeah, just realize that it's okay that they know more than you do. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, if anybody needs me, I'll be over here not having any of these diseases.